Madden NFL 19 long shot homecoming, killing the magic. It's no secret that I'm not an American football fan. It's also no secret that I was in love with last year's long shot mode. It's the very thing that made me pick up my first Madden NFL game, full of charm, humor, and drama. As a standalone, it made my top 25 games of 2017. Sadly, I can't say the same about long shot homecoming. Long shot homecoming is very split with the story, following again Devin Wade and Colt Cruz. Devin goes on to be part of the NFL. Colt goes on to be a one hit wonder with his song long shot, waiting for that call from the NFL to be given a chance to shine. The five and a half hour long campaign this time around is more focused on Colt, with Devin really in the background. Colt is looking a bit rough, times are tough, and things aren't getting any easier for him as his deadbeat dad shows up with a sister he's never met before and now he has to look after her while at the same time keep the bullfrogs around and thriving back in his hometown. The cast from the last game is back, but the story just didn't get its hooks in me. I felt no connection to the characters, and sadly the choice making from the past game is completely missing. No dialogue choices, no branching paths, it's just an ass story with too much gameplay. Weird thing to say, but last year's Madden had a perfect balance to make long shot extremely accessible and fun, worth going through if you're a football fan or not. Things get way more complicated here, you're introduced to too many mechanics, and you're thrown into seemingly random football games to just pet out the mode where last year's long shot, every game was special, it was a moment. Here though, it feels like they took the critiques of not enough gameplay to heart and that was a mistake. People that play Madden are gonna play Madden every year no matter what. Long Shot was an opportunity to bring in an entirely new set of players, tap into a different market of people that love narrative based experiences with very light Madden gameplay touches here and there. It was fun, but as someone who Madden just isn't for and isn't fun to, I have no interest in learning different pass types or catch types. I had no interest in reading the field, at least not as much as you're forced to do here. I just wanted the rock star moments in the story. Getting through this year's campaign was just frustrating for me. That being said, I want Long Shot to continue with a new cast, a new story. I just wanted to go back to the telltale route of dialogue choices and consequences, and I want games and moments that mean something, not shoved in there to meet a quota for the fans that aren't interested in such a mode in the first place. I give Longshot Homecoming a 6 out of 10. If you played Madden NFL 19 Longshot Homecoming, tell me what you thought about it down in the comment section below. If you haven't played it, tell me if you plan on picking it up. Thumbs up. If you liked the video, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and thanks for watching. Hey, what's the deal with your friend, the one that was throwing darts out there? Why isn't he on the team? You're so clueless. <laughs> why? Oh, oh, oh. I get it. I get it. I see why you like Dylan. Barely ever opens his mouth. <laughs> He's deaf, Colt! If you like this video, please consider supporting me on Patreon so that I can continue to bring you reviews for all the newest games at patreon.com slash superkengaming. You'll get access to early audio and video versions of reviews, exclusive Let's Play videos, and you'll even get to choose the game I play next. Thanks for watching, and of course, stay beautiful.